I think the mirror system is the best system, like we do on the bank shots, where you actually mirror the uh, the ball on the other side of the. So if you put a mirror on the on the on the rail and you so would see the two ball in that mirror, then you actually aim on that two ball is over there. Um, but these systems are just to create a feeling for these kick shots. Uh, when you get more advanced, there's a lot of kicking systems with counting of the diamonds, uh, but these are quite complicated and there's a lot of them. The one I teach a lot is just double the distance. It's, um, I guess they give Jimmy Reed, US Open champion, a lot of credit for this. So for example, if I want to kick one cushion at the two ball, and what I do is I visualize, I put the cue stick on my left side because I'm kicking this direction. So I visualize the ghost ball to here, and I aim my Q-tip towards that ghost ball to the edge of the playing surface. And I double the distance over straight across. And I hit my finger based off this point. Now this is a stun shot. This isn't a smooth hit, because if you smooth hit it, it's gonna tri trickle across. So what I do is I know that I have, my finger was over here, so I have to hit that line with a stun. So like one half, half tip of English and a stun. And I'm always going to make a solid contact on it. Um, to me, that's kind of like a, a very basic, um, easy system for people to memorize. It's not... And in order to hit the ball. To hit the ball. This not is, to make it or yeah. to be too clever with the resave or whatever, but to make sure that they start feeling the lines. Right. Where it, they have to kick it, to, make, to hit the ball. Especially if you're lost and it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. This is a difficult situation for people to kick because there's no visual reference where exactly that cue ball is going to travel to. Whereas if you do the system, it kind of gives you a very solid idea of where it's going. And when you're under pressure. And with a ghost ball, looking at the ghost ball, mm -hmm. you mean that's the the place where the wide ball is going to hit the... Correct. The, okay. the ghost ball so from, where the reference point... From yeah. the, the ghost ball you start measuring. Yes, from okay. the ghost ball point, the center of the ghost ball. Because if you aim on the ball, it's always going to go too right. high up. So you want basically where the... I call it double the distance. Yes. Well, especially so. on new cloth, this stun is very important because mm -hmm. new cloth tends to slide. So the, the, the wide ball coming off, out of the rail curls a little bit in mm -hmm. with the follow. So uh, then it's always long. Uh, on old cloth, when you play it too hard with stun, it, it gets shorter, so that then you would like to play it a little bit softer. Than right, that. right. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, definitely the stun's your friend on, on new cloth, because you'd want to eliminate another variable of the slide. So, I'll show you guys again. It works pretty well. Double the distance. Line just above this diamond. So, I use the diamonds also as a reference point, because the diamonds don't change as I walk around I can easily lose place of where I'm supposed to hit but if I know I'm a little bit above the diamond I can just walk out with confidence and not really lose place of where I need to hit it and again I hit it very square very firm hit and anytime you're not giving ball in hand you're giving yourself an opportunity to get you didn't lucky. leave anything yeah <laughs>